models because like I said not everybody's going out in a Barbie ball gown with <laughs> super long blonde hair and the stereotypical Barbie that we know. Hey everybody it's the Doll Circle and I'm so excited so much. Thank you so much Mattel for sending me the products that you're going to see in this video today for free to share with all of you guys. Oh this is so cool. So I got three of them. I know. Not one, but three. I'm very excited. They're still in their shipping boxes because I wanted to like really be surprised. So all I did was sl slice the box and then I'm going to expose all of them and see who we got. Because now they are different dolls in this line. Now they have, here, you know what? We're just going to go into it. We're just going to go down. I was going to try to plan. I'm sure you guys know. Creatable World. The first one. Oh, this one's so cute. I was kind of hoping this one because I love curly hair. I really, really do. So this is so exciting. Oh my gosh. So I've, I've only seen clips of other people's videos because I really genuinely wanted to go into this really like with no opinion, you know, previous opinions on it. So this one has super cute curly hair. Oh my God, I'm so excited. It comes with a lot of stuff. It comes with a doll, wigs, jackets, shirts, pants, skirts, shoes, glasses, hats, and a bag. A lot. <laughs> this is how they come packaged. Oh my gosh. So this one, I wonder, do they just have model numbers and not names? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So not only can you literally create what they look like, but you can also create their name too. Feeling that. I like it. I like it. Yay! I got the other one that I was hoping to get! I think those are numbers. Yeah, so this is DC 220 and this is DC 619. Hmm. Odd numbers on there. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird numbers, but okay. Love this though. Oh my god, I love oh I love that shade of like almost like hazel hair kind of. I don't know, I love that. I love the outfit. Ooh, combat boots done. Done. Good. And I like I see that's another thing too. I wonder can you exchange all the clothing with all of them? then I'm gonna have so much fun customizing these like I'm so excited <gasps> okay third one third one third one see what I got third one Ooh. oh I'm really excited to feel the hair on this one too like I love different hair textures on dolls so anytime they have like curly and braids and straight like I think that is so interesting and fun and I'm glad they're really doing that now in the doll world because everybody has different hair <laughs> not everybody has perfect straight hair you know so I'm so glad they're actually doing that kudos Mattel boxes are all the same just different you know obviously the different doll on each side and then it's showing them in the different forms that you can manipulate them so that's really cool I love the style of the box I love how it, does it slide out oh it's taped okay you know what we're gonna do we're gonna slice open the boxes and zoom in and take a closer look to all three of these new dolls I'm excited well, I had to still do it while I'm like <laughs> far enough from the camera. So when you slide it out of the packaging, it gives you options of what you can dress your doll like, right? Hair, outfits, everything. Take the poster off, which I think this is really super cute. I really like it. And I like how they give you like, here, let me show you guys close up. All the different ones you can get. So there are other ones that I that are available that I don't have. So I guess there's five total, it seems like. And look how cool that is. I love the way it's set up. I love the way it's laid out. I think that's really, really cute. I like how I can like kind of take every, I, don't know, I just love the layout. I thought it was really cute. I love the color too. They did a good job on that. Now there's gonna be many things I'm looking at this doll. The biggest thing for me is the create creativity aspect to it. Quality, you know what? Looking at it, I have like, eh, you know, some mixed opinions. But overall, though, I'm excited for the creativity and what this really does allow not only children, but just people in general, the kind of like option of creating their own doll, but then also letting people know that it's okay to have a not, you know, a different So I took out the one that was my favorite initially just because I really love curly hair on dolls. Like, they're so cute. And I love, like, her curls. The texture feels pretty good. It doesn't feel like there's too much product in it. It doesn't feel hard or crispy or anything like that. But I think, honestly, this doll looks so cute just the way this, like, I mean, obviously I'm going to put the wig on it. But I just want to show you guys with the shorter kind of, like, bubble cut. It reminds me of, like, the early, like, 60s bubble cut Barbies that were first out kind of giving me that little bit of a vibe I mean again I don't think I had any inspiration from it but that's just what I'm seeing I took the glasses from this doll I took the jacket from this doll and I took the pants where the pants come from oh from the doll this doll actually that it came with so this one did come with 
uh, the blue kind of romperish style that I've seen these a lot on rompers um, kind of harem pants style and then the combat boots I took from this one and I just kind of piece something that I would realistically wear because I really love leather jackets I love combat boot things like that so this is just really really cute now I know what you guys want to see is putting the wig on you know I wanted to give you guys just a look of me piecing together some cute little outfit and like look even this hat I just have to show you with the hat on too it's just so Oh my gosh, I love it! Look at that! Just very like indie kind of looking. I think very modern. modern. We'll give it a little bit of a modern look here. Now the wigs, okay. <sighs> Coming from a world where I wear a lot of wigs. <laughs> this line bothers me a lot, but I understand why they had to do that. Like the hair is actually really good. Here, let me open it up here. This is pretty. Color is good. Love the texturing. Um, rooted pretty nicely. Again, the line, I understand why it has to be there is for it to stick on kind of like a hat. But the line I don't like because you can see it. Now, this particular doll, I'll show you on the other ones because I played around a little bit. This one looks okay like this because I can brush the curls back. I was doing this earlier. I know I messed it up. Okay. Brush the curls back. And look, you don't see the hairline as much. So for this particular doll, it looks better this way because the curly hairs blend in with the line. So honestly, I can't even tell it's a wig. Look, like, I mean, I mean, yes, I can tell it's short here, but for the concept of what they're trying to do with the doll and blurring the lines of gender with it, I get it. I do get it. From a doll collecting, me being super analytical standpoint, it, it, it doesn't blend right, okay? I get it. But it's trying to mix a new type of thing without having fully interchangeable wigs. I personally, would have liked to have had a full wig. I feel like if it was just like a, you know, like a pixie plastic mold on the head, wig come off, short, long, you know, that, I would have preferred that. I think it might have been maybe a cost thing. Maybe it was just easier to root the doll like this possibly, and then just have this as a separate wig piece. I don't know why Mattel did that. Again, not a bad concept. It's interesting. If you're really good at styling hair, you can brush it back, make it blend into the hairline a little bit better. Cause they do make wig actual real wigs that are just pieces like that that can stick to your head if you have like let's say a little thinning hair so i get the idea it doesn't execute just right like it doesn't stay on her head let's see now it doesn't stay on its head that great but it looks it doesn't look that bad it doesn't look that bad <laughs> i'm defending it i'm defending it you guys because i really love the concept of the doll but i know a lot of doll collectors out there are going to be like the wig doesn't stay on right and i get that i super get that but overall though, I like the doll. So let's go into some of the articulation because I know those are things people want to see. Now it doesn't have a made to move body, but it does have an articulated body, which at this point with dolls, I'm glad to get anything. So ankles bend, knees bend, can go into a seated position, um, wrists do bend, elbows, again, not three point articulation, just normal bendable articulation, the elbows, um, doesn't swivel in the wrist, doesn't swivel, ooh, long, hello, does not swivel in the waist, not wrist, uh, but overall though, the weight of the doll is pretty good, a little bit heavier than a, it's kind of like, not a super fancy doll, but not a fashionista, if that makes any sense. It's kind of like in between. It's kind of giving me an in-between weight on the doll. I know some people's concerned about the plastic quality, but honestly, it's not bad. I'm not complaining. I, again, I love, to me, it's n looking past the actual material of the doll. To me, it's about a statement that Mattel is doing. And I'm glad for once Mattel is doing something out of their box. They really are. They're doing something out of their norm. They're trying something new. And I feel like they did a really good job with it. I really do. I think that I love the layout of the boxes, the packaging, the marketing was great about creating your own world. I'm feeling it. I am. I am. <laughs> so let's go close up on the face. I think, I think the face looks really cute personally. I do. I like it. I like how the face is very androgynous. Um, I feel like people out there aren't super femme and people aren't super masculine. I feel like there's people who are very gender fluid and this doll gives me that vibe in this face mold. Now I want to show off the other two. Let me get the other now, two. I don't right. know if the numbers on the boxes mean anything, but this one says DC725, like I mentioned earlier in the video. I love this one's head shave though. It's so cute. Again, you don't see this too often in dolls. I've been trying to add it to the Fashionista dolls a little bit, but I really like that. I feel like this is something that's very modern. I feel like it's something that I've seen people actually have their haircut style in. Because it's something I always like to question on doll, doll, I guess, brands. You know, it's like sometimes they do stuff and I'm like, 
nobody actually does that, not even in an artistic way, but this one actually is a very, all these hairstyles are very realistic hairstyles, so I'm feeling it. Face mold, let me give a close up here. It looks very, I don't want to say they're all the same mold. I don't know. Hold on. Are these the same? No, 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 no. This one has a rounder face, right? Or am I crazy? Am I crazy? Comment below. <laughs> Are these the same molds? I don't, I can't tell the difference. I don't think so. Um, this one though, I had a little trouble. Okay. Hair, super cute, loving it. Um, this doesn't blend as well, in my opinion. <laughs> Looks almost like a helmet, as you can see. In the picture, whoever styled it did a much better job. Um, I mean, you can kind of do this. You're going to see the hairline. I think it's almost impossible not to. Oh, sorry, I'm like not in frame. Almost impossible not to not see it. Um, but here, let me show you guys. See, you can see the hairline here. It just, you know, if you put a hat on it, <laughs> it hides it. I don't know. I mean, again, the the concept on the... I personally like all the dolls without the extra wig pieces, which is crazy because normally I love wigs, but I just don't... This particular one doesn't work well with me because there isn't a bang to distract that hairline. But, but, overall, let's go back to the doll and stop complaining about the wig line. <laughs> Something that I'm noticing. Uh, let me show you. Oh, this one thing I forgot what they come when you first get them out of the package. This one came in a white tank top and shorts. This one's white tank top and shorts. This one came with black uh, tank top and shorts. So I kind of like the black one personally. Obviously I'm always partial to black, but I like that it's a white tank top that you can put, you know, with a jacket over it and it's easy to accessorize in different ones. Um, height, I know that was something that people wanted to compare of. So let me grab another Barbie. So giving you guys a comparison on a fashionista and this one is is this one a tall one? This one might be a tall one. Whoopsies. <laughs> I grabbed a tall one. Uh, it's still easy to play. I still feel like the sizing on them is not bad. I like how they made them youthful and age appropriate. I feel like in their in their overall style, in their clothes, even in their height, they're supposed to be like preteen teenager type of um, appearance. So I like that as well. Let me get the last one out to show you. And this one's got green eyes. This one has like green eyes as well. And this one's brown. And this one has a lot of product because the hair is definitely sticking down for sure. But it was kind of like a short hair, not really a pixie kind of in between haircut. Comes in the white outfit. Articulation, as you can see, is the same on all of the dolls. This one comes with a straight haired, kind of like, not honey colored, just a, I don't know, ashy, medium ash brown color. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going that exact here with the colors. Um, obviously it just goes on same way like the other ones. Let me make sure I got the ears kind of straight. And then see this one has a bang. So this one's a little bit easier to let me push the hair back. If I brush it down, none of these come with brushes, I believe. Let me see. I'll have to take the packaging out of the bottom here. No, none of these come with brushes or stands, so keep that in mind if you want to add these to your collection. You might buy a stand or something. Um, I would have liked to see a brush just because they come with wigs, and normally wigs would be great with brushes. Uh, I think this hair needs a lot of, I would have to say, product to comb it down, uh, to hold it down into place, to kind of give it this bang style. But, I don't know, it's just, again, it's hard to not see it. In the packaging, they did a great job. <laughs> In the packaging, as you can see here, they did a wonderful job of hiding that hairline. You can still see it a little bit, but not as much. I feel like that's the one thing I've seen a lot of doll collectors kind of talk about was the hairline on the wigs. But you know what? I'm not going to even put the wigs on any of mine. I like them all like this. I think they're really cool. I think they're different. And like I said, it's more about the statement versus the actual doll itself, in my personal opinion, uh, coming off of this. Um, you know, I feel like the fashions are wearable. I feel like I've seen people wear these. I don't feel like they're going too crazy with the clothes, but not either going too boring. Uh, I like that they're actually, Mattel's doing something different for once in their, you know, doll creating and actually coming out with something that is making a positive statement. Because like I said, not everybody is super femme and not everybody's super masculine. And a lot of us are just all in between. And they're doing that with these dolls you know, as much as they can. <laughs> I know obviously they're not going out and they're not, you know, making huge political statements with this, but I like what they're doing. I like what they're trying to do. I like the concept of trying to do the wigs with the short hair. Again, I would have liked them to all be wigs, but 
I, it's cute. It's a cute concept. I like it. <laughs> so thank you so much, Mattel, for sending me this. Definitely check you check out you guys. Creatable World on Instagram, online. They have tons of pictures on there and information. And I really hope this is the first step in creating all sorts of new dolls because new dolls are always exciting, especially when they're you know expressing something different and also inclusive to you know other people's styles because like I said not everybody's going out in a Barbie ball gown with <laughs> super long blonde hair and the stereotypical Barbie that we know people look like this <laughs> you know this is a like good representation so I'm feeling it I hope you guys felt it as much as I did like I said I really enjoyed it so thank you so much Mattel